my career was focused, I wanted to win the Ironman. That's what I wanted to do. That was the year I crawled to the finish line, the infamous crawl. And, um, you know, um, that day I didn't win the race. Gosh, I wanted to help her, you know, and, and just get there. And I was, I was so scared. Yeah, I was so scared. Now. Yeah. I was, it's I was still was emotional, terrified. isn't it? I yeah. was terrified that you were going to die in front of me. I was just <laughs> praying bad. that, you know, you could make it. And oh my gosh, every time I see it, every time I see this, yeah. I have that knot in my stomach. I mean, she was US Pro Champion. Um, she was on a World Championship winning team in 1996. She won Australia Ironman in 1998. Uh, fifth at Ironman World Championship in uh, 1997. Um, that year I thought that she had a really good chance to win. Um, and that was the, the year of the famous crawl between her and Wendy Ingram. So Sean's had a great athletic career. I retired in 2000 because um, my, my husband had a, a heart condition. We sat in the hospital room in December um, 1999 and the doctor came in and told my husband that he would never race again. I hardly trained. I couldn't even get on my bike because he, he wasn't with me and it was so different. So um, I was done, yeah. you know. I was starting to feel it. You know, I turned 50 this year and I was just feeling not good about my body and how it how I felt totally out of shape so and I had heard about CrossFit and I had had some friends that did it I actually walked into a couple CrossFit gyms and something it just I I just walked back out so my friend told me about CrossFit 760 so I went in and um, that right away when I walked in I felt comfortable they taught me piece by piece by piece. And I had never lifted a weight before, you know, um, properly. Um, and I just started feeling like, wow, I can do this. From when she walked in, she, she had a motor immediately. That, that was super easy to tell. Where she's been able to gain her strength is through, through the Olympic lifts and the, and the power lifts and really just making sure that we hit all 10 general physical skills. So she's far more powerful than she's ever been and she feels stronger now than, than she ever did. And that's at age 50, which is really a testament to her hard work in here and, and just sticking to the program. I started in August 2015, and 2016 I, I was like, I feel so good, I feel so strong. We do a little running in CrossFit, and my running never felt better. And I said to Joe, you know what, I feel so good. I feel like I could do, you know, Ironman right now. You know, I feel like I'm that strong. And he's like, well, why don't you? You should. I want to go back to Kona. You know, I'm not doing this because I have unfinished business and I want to go do the Ironman and prove something that I'm 50 years old and look at me, I'm strong. I just couldn't do, do it with that motivation. I'm just not there. The reason why I want to go back to Kona 20 years after the crawl is to raise a million dollars for the Freedom to Live Foundation. Freedom to Live Foundation helps people with a catastrophic injury to live outside of an institution or outside of a home that their family um, is taking care of them. To be able to move to a place where they can learn how to take back control of their life and become independent and their own person in life to direct and manage their, their care and their, their every part of their life. I've been doing CrossFit for 18 months, which I, I'm 50 years old, and um, I just feel stronger and better than I ever have. Even when I was a professional triathlete, I just feel stronger 
And I, I know I'll never be as fast as I was, but that's not important at all. I just feel stronger. And so doing this Ironman, I just feel like Ironman is about strength. It's not about speed. And um, the CrossFit is the key component. If, if, I did, if I'd never started CrossFit, I would never be contemplating doing this project.